Smartphone manufacturers keep releasing models that are faster and better than the ones that came before. We see bigger screens, better cameras and improved designs. But it isn't often that completely new capabilities are added to a phone. Asus has decided to blaze a new path with the Zenfone AR, the first phone to support augmented reality and virtual reality apps. The phone is a result of a collaboration between Asus, Google and Qualcomm. Does the Zenfone AR bring augmented reality to mainstream? Well, keep watching to find out. While flagship devices these days all have metal unibodies, the Asus Zenfone AR stands out thanks to its aluminium alloy frame and burnished leather back. It does not feel slippery and the black leather is soft to the touch. This phone is quite bulky and weighs 170 grams, but overall, it still has a premium look and it definitely feels solidly built. The home button has an integrated fingerprint scanner. Next to the earpiece is the notification light, an ambient light sensor, a proximity sensor and the 8 megapixel selfie camera. The huge camera module on the back has a brushed finish which goes well with the leather back. It houses what Asus calls a tri-cam system consisting of a 23 megapixel camera with an additional motion and depth sensing cameras right next to it. The three cameras are protected by sapphire glass. Right above the camera is the autofocus sensor with a triple LED flash. You can see Asus and Google Tango logos engraved in the leather lower down. The 5.7 inch Super AMOLED display has Corning Gorilla Glass 4 but our review unit came with a glass protector pre-applied. It has a resolution of 1440 by 2560 pixels for a pixel density of 515 ppi. It is crisp and the high resolution does help the VR experience. We found viewing angles to be good, but reflections were sometimes a problem outdoors. The Asus Zenfone AR has a 3300 mAh battery with a step design to make the most of the available space. It is a dual SIM phone with support for 4G and VOLT. You can pop in two nano SIMs or one nano SIM and one micro SD card. Powering the phone is a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 processor. Asus told Gadgets360 that it has worked with Qualcomm and Google engineers to optimize this processor to run AR and VR apps. The sensors on the Zenfone AR have a higher polling frequency than usual which helps the phone capture minor movements accurately. Coupled with the processor is 8GB of RAM and we have found that we had 5GB free after the day's use. There is 128GB of storage which can be expanded using the hybrid SIM slot. Competitors at this price range might have powerful processors but the Zenfone AR is no slouch. It is still powerful and we did not encounter any lag or stutter when using the phone. It handled games really well with no frame drops or stutters. The Zenfone AR usually runs cool when used normally except when playing Asphalt 8 for a long time. This device has vapor cooling and Asus told us that the chassis is thicker in order to dissipate heat faster. The Zenfone AR runs on Android 7.0 Nougat with Zen UI 3.5 on top. The user interface is functionally similar to stock Android but there are customized icons and themes. There are gestures baked into the UI which can be used to wake the device by double tapping on the screen or can be used to launch apps by drawing an alphabet. One handed mode makes it easier to use the big phone. There are quite a few preloaded AR apps including BMW iVisualizer, Measure, iStaging and AR Pets. Augmented reality works very well and looks realistic. The phone is quick to respond to hand movements and also quick to update AR objects on the screen based on your physical movements. While the AR performance is impressive, this phone does let you know that it's putting a lot of its resources into it. Now despite heavy duty cooling, we found that the metal frame did get hot after using AR apps for a long period of time. Battery level would also dip rapidly when using these apps. The Asus Zenfone AR is also compatible with Google Daydream VR. We found the experience to be good and the Google Daydream View headset was very comfortable. The screen switches to a 90Hz refresh rate when launching a VR app because this is easy on the eyes. We tried YouTube VR and Google's Art & Culture VR app. Daydream Remote makes it easy to navigate and carry on actions in VR. The Zenfone AR sports a 23 megapixel camera with laser autofocus as well as face and contrast detection to help focus in different conditions. 
the camera app has several modes for photography. Photos turned out nicely but we did notice that the Zenfone AR isn't very sure with white balance. Macros did require a few taps to focus where we want it, but the output showed good separation between subjects and the background. Photos taken in low light had quite a bit of noise. The output did improve in low light mode which reduces the resolution. The Zenfone AR can do 4K video recording and also full HD at 60fps. While there is 4-axis OIS for photos, videos only benefit from 3-axis EIS which does not work very well. The Zenfone AR has an 8MP front camera. Beautification mode is switched on by default but there are multiple modes here as well. We were happy with the selfies that the Zenfone AR returned. The Zenfone AR is an example of a new direction that the smartphone industry could head towards. Other than simply beefing up the internals, the Zenfone AR offers completely new experiences with augmented reality and virtual reality on a single device. What the Zenfone offers at the moment is unique and that is its main appeal. This is a niche product for people who have a use for AR or want to be among the first to experience it. If you are a developer looking to work on AR or VR for Android, the Zenfone AR could be a great tool. The same can be said for individuals or companies that can leverage AR to demonstrate their products. Apart from this, the specs are a little outdated when we look at current phones at this price level or even lower. If you absolutely want to experience AR or want a phone that stands out from the rest, then the Zenfone AR is a unique option. Thanks for watching. Do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Gadgets360.